Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Wendy's Cookie Crochet Tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to do the lemon peel stitch. This is a super pretty stitch, really fun to do. Um, I'm going to actually make a scarf and a hat out of it. So anyway, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get my crochet hook. And I've just got a red heart worsted weight four yarn here. And you can use whatever yarn that you want. Just make sure your yarn and your hook size match up. And I'm using my five and a half millimeter hook here. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make a slip knot. And then I'm just going to chain, let's chain, I don't know, 20. Alright, so I've got 20 chain now, and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start in that second chain from hook. So this is my first chain from my hook. I'm not going to start in this, I'm going to start in the second chain from my hook. So that second chain right there. Um, the first one's your turning chain. So I'm just going to do a single crochet in that first stitch. And then the next stitch I'm going to do a double crochet. So the next stitch I'm going to do a double crochet. And then I'm going to repeat that all the way down. So the next stitch will be a single crochet. The next will be a double crochet. Let me pull out some yarn here. And then I'm just going to keep on going, repeating that all the way down. So the next will be a single crochet the next to double and you notice here I'm doing it a little bit loosely um, I like to do that so it's easier to work into the stitches so I'm just repeating this all the way down a single crochet and then a double crochet Hey guys, sorry you can hear the family in the background a little bit there, but um, anyway, if you like what you're seeing, please consider subscribing to my channel. It would mean a, a world to me if you would um, subscribe to my channel, and thanks for watching everybody, and um, we're going to continue um, working this um, lemon peel stitch. So I'm ending on a single crochet here. So let me show you what the difference kind of looks like here. So you see how you have your double crochet is a little bit higher than your single crochet. So your single crochet is just a little bit lower there. You have your little V right there. And then your double crochet has like a little extra right up here, as you can see. So now what you're going to do is you're going to, since I my last stitch was a single crochet so now I'm going to chain two and then my first stitch is going to be a double crochet so I'm going to work the opposite end so everywhere that I made a single crochet is now going to have a double crochet and then everywhere that has a double crochet will now have a single crochet in it and you repeat that pattern all the way down So this is a single crochet coming up and you can see kind of the difference this single right here is smaller the double I just worked in is bigger so my next one is a double crochet and then I've got a single crochet and then a double crochet and you just keep working like that the opposite every time you do it um, until you get um, the length that you need in your pattern. So again, I'm just working my single into where the double was and a double into where the single was. And before, if I had finished on a single crochet, what I would have done is I would have just chained one instead of, or if I had yeah finished on a uh, 
double crochet, I would have chained one and then I would have turned and done a single crochet in that first stitch. So again, you just do this all the way down. Here I'm finishing on a double crochet. So here you can see the one nice thing about this stitch is that it looks the same from the back or the front. So you um, don't really have a back or front. So here, since I finished on double crochet, I'm going to chain one, I'm going to turn, and I'm going to start with a single crochet now. So just starting with a single crochet, and the next stitch will be a double crochet. And you just continue doing the opposite all the way down. Um, this row, if um, you want to think about it this way, will look like your first row that you did. So here I'm doing a single and the double, and then a double in the single. And that's really all there is to it, guys. You just Keep on going, doing, switching back and forth between a double and a single crochet. And that is it. And just continue all the way down your line. Going back and forth. So this I finished with a single, so now I would chain two, turn, and do a double in that first stitch. And that's all there is to it, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please uh, consider subscribing to my channel, liking the video, and comment. Thanks, everybody. Happy hooking, everyone.